It's important that I also talk about the things with this boat that are not working and one of those is that the compass is leaking uh, water through into the aft steering compartment but only when it rains. Um, fortunately Garcia are helping me fix this problem and uh, I'll let you know how that goes and I'll also let you know if Garcia fix it so that it doesn't happen with future boats. Okay here we go. Okay, so as you can see I've taken the, the compass out because it's been a source of leaking. Um, there's all the various bits and pieces there and here's the binnacle. Um, now, just on the inside of the binnacle here we can see there's, uh, I'll put my hand in here, you can see it's all wet here. Yeah, there's water running around in there. and. Uh, there's moisture down underneath there, which dribbles down and runs inside the uh, steering compartment at the back there. Not very easy to film this, but I'm trying to figure out how the water's getting in. Now there's a fairly good silicon seal around the base of, I don't know if this is the binnacle mount or the bracket or whatever, but that looks okay the, the that's the silicon around the base here or well, there's plenty of water but i don't think the water's getting through there well, i don't know if that's a crack there or not um interesting I have to look carefully at that sorry i'm looking live and on the camera at the same time um but what seems to be the case with this compass is that it looks to me like water can just go straight through it. There's a hole here for the wire and no attempt has been made to seal that up and that is definitely a source of leaking. See water going through that. When I pulled it out, a whole heap of water just flooded out of the base of the compass. Landed on the floor down here, here we are. It's just dripping down there. But it, it looks like water can just get through this gap here and just go down on the insides and I just don't know what you're supposed to do I mean is, is this compass designed to to leak what am I supposed to do am I supposed to run a bead of silicon along the base here Plastimo do talk about applying silicon to the thing if you want to there's a Oh, there's holes all over the place down the base here for where water can leak out. But I just don't know whether you're supposed to allow water to get into it. There's an interesting sign here that says, Never use a gasket as the binnacle is mounted onto a watertight surface. Well, hello, there's a big hole that's not very watertight. So I just don't know what they were thinking. And I don't know what Garcia was thinking. Because we've had a heap of, every time it rains, we get two, three, sometimes ten litres of water in the aft cabinet, the aft uh, compartment, which is meant to be a water pipe compartment. So there you go. I'm trying to figure out what to do about this. Okay, so let's pull this Plastimo compass out of its case. First, you've got these out of the binnacle. First you've got these uh, covers here, you need to prise them off, so fingernails will do. Just get in there and lift those out. Make sure they're warm, don't do that when they're really cold because uh, plastic's more likely to crack then. I've already done the other side as you can see. Then it's a matter of uh, getting your fingernails and fingers and undoing these screws the background noise was getting a bit out of hand there behind our yacht the, the boat lift is being used which is uh, nice for someone getting their boat put in the water so you see me uh, taking firstly those screws came out and then two of the uh, leaves of the cover come off very easily this third one though has the this led has light attached to it so you have to sort of tickle that out so which i will do in just a moment 
First though, I'm, uh, oh, here's the burglar turning up to uh, rob the boat while I'm not paying attention. Um, I'll just get these screws started. Just undo those a little bit. I like to undo screws bit by bit, not, uh, not all at once. So we'll get those started and uh, come around the front and pop out the little covers at the front that uh, are over the top of um, the other two screws. So there's little tabs underneath, pop those, lift out the cover on the left there, port side, and then lift out the starboard side cover. Lift out the starboard side cover, <laughs> there it comes. Yay, put them down on the helm there so they can blow away into the water and uh, start on the screws. And here's the stainless steel screw that Garcia used to mount the compass into the binnacle with some silicon on it. That's good. So that's the four screws out and now it's time to disconnect the wire for the LED lamp that's just on the inside of that cover leaf and uh, I'll just muck around with that a bit. Oh, I'm showing where, where the water gets in um, on the side there and where the ball meets the plastic mount but let's have a look at uh, getting this little LED light out. You've sort of got to pluck it out of a little holder that it sits in. It's a little bit fiddly but I'll just keep fiddling until it comes out. Here it comes. And there it is, disconnected. And then we can lift the compass out of the binnacle. It's a little bit harder the first time because it's a bit stuck. But uh, I think this is the second or third time I've pulled it out, so it uh, comes out quite easily. And then set it aside, got to disconnect the wire um, that's connected down in uh, a couple of Wago clips. So I'll just put it down, hold it in place, make sure the cable's not too tight. Yep, nice and loose. And then uh, reach in and disconnect it. Round about now. It's a bit dark in there. I mean, I could see, but not particularly well, but I managed to get the clips undone, which you will be able to observe. I think that's one. That's a good thing about Wago clips, they're uh, easily done up and easily undone. But that doesn't help the camera view at all. Here comes the second clip undone, flick it open, and here's the cables. So, gee, that was easy. So, there we go, the compass is out. I'll just put it down and uh, let's see if we can have a look down inside of the binnacle there to see what. Um, what's going on. The water that was there before has evaporated so that's good but we want to stop water from getting in in the first place and we'll talk about how Garcia are going to be helping with that. So let's see if we can stick a camera down inside and underneath the binnacle here and see what's down here. Ah there's my torch I'd lost that um, so we can see there's the two Wago clips that were um, clipping the wires from the compass light. Lots of cables, um, some uh, CAN bus connectors, and that's the winch motor and all of its electrics. And you can see uh, the back end of a Triton 2 B&G display up there. There's the winch button at the top. So that's what's inside this helm pedestal. Um, looking down through the gap there uh, is down to the steering gear. There's the steering cable. Um, and I'll just pull my arm out now and look at the other angle. I have to change arms because I'm not triple jointed. 
So with a brand new arm, here is the other angle where we can see the back end of the uh, throttle control and uh, that's a uh, bit of nav gear and the buttons for the bow thruster and over on the right hand side there on the back of that black panel is a 12 volt car socket that I can connect a spotlight to. Very handy. So that's all of that electrical gear is why we want to stop water from getting in there in the first place. As I mentioned at the start, Garcia are working with me to fix this leak. One of the easiest ways might be to find the disc of aluminium that was cut out to make the hole or a similar piece and uh, get that sent across to us uh, so that we can silicon it or epoxy it into place and that'll fill the hole. Then remove the silicon from the base of the binnacle so that any water that does go through the compass can work its way out through the gap between the binnacle and the pedestal. That should work. So uh, we'll give that a go. Please let Carolyn and I know if you've got a better idea in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye.